Hello everyone and welcome to Grammar Bytes. We're going to study future forms today. To talk about future, we have some tenses and models with different functions. We can use be going to plus verb one, the present continuous, which is emisar plus verb in the ing form, will plus verb one, may or might with verb one, and finally, the future continuous, which is will plus be plus verb in the ing form. Let's start with the present continuous. We use this tense for organizations or arrangements in the future. We have a date or time and generally other people are involved. We often use it with a time expression to avoid confusion with the present meaning. For example, we are flying to the Caribbean next weekend. We can also say the same thing using be going to. We are going to fly to the Caribbean next weekend. In most cases, when we use the present continuous, be going to is also possible. Here are some more examples. Are you doing anything later today? Sorry, I'm meeting a colleague this afternoon. Or here we can say, I'm going to meet a colleague. We use be going to with verb one to talk about future plans and intentions. We don't need to take action like setting a date or time yet. For example, so busy today, I'm going to watch football and rest all weekend. So this is his plan. I'm going to find a job and move to a bigger city. This is also his plan. We also use be going to in questions to ask about other people's plans. For example, what are you going to do this summer? I'm going to attend summer school. When we talk about predictions or guesses about the future, we can use will or be going to. It's common to use I think, I expect with will. Here is another example. I think I will fail this exam. I left everything to the last minute. We studied so hard. You're going to do well in this exam. Two fans are talking and making predictions about the match result. Let's see what they say. Do you think we will win? Definitely, he's the best player in the team. We're going to win. May and might both show possibility in the future. There is a 50% chance that something will happen. We use verb one after may or might. This girl considers to get rid of stuff before she moves to her new house. And she says, I may get rid of some stuff. My new house is very small. She may do it or she may not. Instead of using may or might, we can also use I will possibly or I'm possibly going to. As you see in the example sentence, you can say I will possibly get rid of some stuff or I'm possibly going to get rid of some stuff. Lastly, we have the future continuous. The form is easy. We use will plus be plus verb in the ing form. We use this tense to talk about events or situations that are going to be in progress in the future. Let me give you an example. I'm packing my case now. Next weekend, I'll be relaxing on the beach. And let me show you on a timeline. Now, I'm packing my case. This time next weekend, I will be resting on the beach. We can make the sentence using be going to plus verb in the ing form too. Look at this couple talking about next weekend. They are moving soon and they will be in their new house next weekend. He says, we will be resting in our new home this time next weekend. 
it is also possible to say, we're going to be resting in our new home this time next weekend. It is possible to use the future continuous in negative sentences and questions. Here are two examples. I won't be working next week. Call my cell phone if you need me. OK, thanks. When will you be coming back? This is the end of this presentation and hope you have found it useful. Don't forget to click on the link below the video to do some practice. Have a nice day.